My content is for 13 and upwards. Don't click another product. Okay, everyone. So usually I would have this on a white thing. So we're gonna, for the sake of the thing. So while I was recording a video for the Excalibur thing, I encountered this thing with Belial 3, which is kind of similar to 2. Now in the thing, I've isolated what the mold could possibly be, but I also found out what causes it. So I'm gonna say it now at the start. So one, it's just the general design of how they designed the thing for why it closes in uh, tougher than the original Belly L2, because this is basically just a reskin of Belly L2. Uh, and it didn't, here's the thing, before it was normal, but right when I got to a certain point, it got like that. And what I've noticed, and this is what I have to say in specific, so when I launched super, super hard, it basically forced the thing to be almost near sec, and I've seen this happen. Now, What's actually occurring is because you know how there's a spring inside here? When you're doing with so much force and pressure, which this is honestly like, I can't even blame Takeratomi because that's not really the fault of them. That's just, you could maybe say it's the fault of them to like a certain extent, but also it's just how hard the players are launching, right? That's like, if it gets to that point, there are some things I don't think in design they, they, they could just factor in but what basically happens is that spring on the inside, you are basically putting it to the maximum amount for it to push out the stopper. What basically happens is then after, because the stopper had so much force when you launched it to come out, and then after closing it in becomes a little bit annoying. There were two solutions I found to this. I did mention in the past this launcher stuff the, when you push the launcher prong in on the thing trying to close it in, that does usually work for like the normal ones. But when you get to this extreme case, uh, what I did was I basically just launched it in like a soft surface and I basically just like tapped it on the side and I forced it to burst. Don't use tools. And the reason why I say don't use tools is because tools does not make any sense to do because what you are doing is you are just wasting uh, resources to break that thing even more that doesn't accomplish anything. Even if it does close it, the launcher thing makes more sense. Oh, but you're damaging the side. Listen, it's either you want to break the stopper and complain, or you just do a slight little tap on the thing and then after it bursts right away. The other alternative that I've shown this is that you actually can just open it and then after it's put it back together and then after it's fine, because you basically just reset that spring. So this thing does have solutions. I do think there are probably specific molds on the thing. And I do want to bring to attention to the viewer about this because honestly, it's important we're transparent here. And also it's important that instead of just doing a lazy video rushing it, that we found solutions and we tried to isolate it. Hold on. <laughs> Look, the stopper's in, right? But how do you close it in? Oh, wait, no, hold on. Okay, look at this. Okay, so you see how you see how this, this is like the same thing with Belial 2 that some complain on specific. So, because I've been launching it so hard, I think I put so much pressure on the thing to come out. So I just pushed it back in. Wow, okay. See, I just had a PSA in the video, huh? No big problem, Belial 3 for me. How do you, okay. So, so look at what happens here. So, you see, do you see how it's like this? Like, look, like, I'm trying to do the Excalibur thing. This is annoying me now. 
This is only happening because I'm try-hard launching right now. So I have to see what mold this is. Hold on. Okay, so now let's get some context in here. So as you will notice in the actual recording when I am launching in self KO nice with the Belly L3 on the in the video, which obviously at the whole sessions, maybe like an hour or whatever. On the previous times, you will hear me do a click sound. That is either me closing it in normally with the disc or I just did a launcher to push in to close it. Those are normal methods to close the thing or you could put your finger if you want to and it usually works. But when I got to the thirdish time or whatever, when the thing just would not do it, that is because, if you'll notice, my launch strength was a lot stronger than before. So similar to what I've just said, because the strength was so much on it, it's forcing that spring. And you're going to hear me repeat it. This is just post-recording just to really explain and give context. So ideally, you only going to... This is like... And if you're going to basically just constantly keep doing hard launches like I did, then maybe you could get to this situation. But in the video, I go over solutions. All right. I did it. So when you... what? Okay, so first of all, normally, right, it doesn't do it. On the specific occasions where I found it to be super stuck, what I've noticed is when I've been launching super, super hard. So what I think is happening is because obviously it takes strength to release it, because when I went really, really hard when I launched it, this thing popped out and it was really annoying to close in. So usually the launcher works. Obviously you have to be mindful for the launcher prongs and you can see that because uh, I was not careful enough, I did kind of screw it up. That is my fault. Uh, so first of all, let's try to inspect what caused this issue. So what mold is this? A1? And then what is it? Should be some G thing, whatever. And then after, I think that's G22 or wait. So be aware that I had a G22 mold, which is, you see it on the corner there. And then after it's A1. So if you have an A1 G22, double check to be sure, because this one I have run into issues to actually verify to see what I have on my other one. I think I just, cause I launched really hard for the thing. I definitely do think that's a bit odd that that's happened, but it's only really happened on the extreme launches that I've done. Normally it closes like if I, so let's give an example now. So that way they don't think, oh, it's only when you launch it and the stopper comes out. Cause that's not how the design works of the thing. It's idiotic just to say just that. So let's say I get this and I, it comes out. <laughs> Okay, not like that, hold on. Okay. Relative launch that you'll probably see. So if I try to close it now, you'll notice. As we can see, won't do it. I'm going to have this thing here, a little case. We're going to launch it. Here's what I'm going to do. Move it back. Now what I just did there, let's let's try to go over with what, what just happened. So because I launched it on the thing here, obviously make sure you have a soft surface when you do this, because I'm hitting it with the launcher here and it goes in there, what's happening is that it is forcing the disc now to actually have enough force to actually push in. Just to make sure we got this clear, I'm not doing this aimlessly, right? There you go. You gotta make sure when you aim for it, right? That you're doing it on the side. So one, you're not really damaging this that much just to do it and you get the sopper out uh, fine. And I don't get too much issues with this. So this is what I think is probably your best solution for the thing. 
The other alternative method to fix this is that you just get a screwdriver and you just, you just do it by hand. So make sure you don't obviously strip the screws. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this up. This is what your inside should look like. That one piece is going to come out. Okay, so what we have to do is we first have to see how this... Alrighty, so what I need to explain here is that it is just how the thing is designed. Like, I'm going to be honest right now, I do think you can give the teensiest bit blame to Takeratomi, but also it's just like, these are things that can't really factor into that, how it actually works for the pressure on the spring for the thing. So I don't really blame them too much, but it, it's good to address regardless for the thing. So you see me assemble it now again. So now we're going to repair this thing, and what this basically is going to do is it's just going to like nerf it a bit. All right, so I don't want to give you the whole boring me talking while I screw this thing in, so I'm speeding up the footage for this segment. Uh, basically, what you're doing here is you're just weakening the spring. You're kind of like resetting it in a way, so that way it's still going to be as strong, and I think I show it, but it won't be as crazy as before. Uh, and again, I have to stress that doing tools like tweezers, whatever to close it in, uh, those won't be effective. You either do the thing where I said the tap or you do the thing where you just reset it. One or the other, these are the, probably the most effective. If someone has another alternative that's effective where you're not basically shattering the stopper, feel free to. I closed it. You do make it a little bit weaker. Alrighty, so there you go. I've explained the factors that led to the thing. I've explained the mold that could potentially be the issue. I also explained ways to get around this. Uh, also, I denounced previous methods and I said new methods that you could use. So the new methods of either smacking it on the side, which does work, or just on a soft surface, just do that. Or just get a tri-wing screwdriver and you just open it and be careful because the thing will fly out, obviously. So make sure you have it all closed together so that way that the things don't go fly out. Make sure you have supervision or you know what you're doing when you're taking it apart to put it back together. And yeah, these are solutions for three, for red two, and I will concede that uh, this is very likely to happen if you do the same factors that I did. However, there are very much solutions towards this. I consider this a lot less offensive than, for an example, the teeth dying. Because then after, like, like teeth wear, just because of done design or whatever. But I digress. Hope you all uh, enjoyed this uh, video. And I'm just using this quick mic thing because I was recording for this. And I saw this happen. I thought, well, you know, might as well just do full thing explaining it. So... Bye.